Hello my friends and fellow YouTubers, welcome to my fifth Blacklight Retribution video. So I want to stay focused on the assault rifle here and if there is one advice I want to give to anybody who uses this rifle, it's burst fire. You need to burst fire in almost every situation. And even though it might seem like uh, I'm uh, firing fully automatic here and there, I'm actually using burst fire in almost every engagement. And what you're gonna see here is no exception. That is what I call quick bursting and uh, I think that's the most effective way to engage your enemy in close combat. Uh, with this weapon that is. So I've played this game for about two weeks now as I'm releasing this video and I still haven't been able to upgrade the weapon as much as I wanted to but uh, we're gonna get to that and uh, as we go along I'm gonna try to control a couple of different ways to burst. Now one of the most obvious ones is of course when you scope in like this. I'm not sure what range this would be but uh, anyway when whenever you feel like you need to scope in or aim down sight keeping it at two or three bullets for each burst is probably the best way to do it. And it seems like every bullet after that is just going to be wasted at least if your target is like more than 20 meters away or further. And I'm sure you've noticed in the gameplay of this video that I'm not really following my own advice perfectly here. There are many situations where my bursting is extremely sloppy, I mean to say the least. But uh, we could just call it research, right? Or uh, experimentation, maybe? <laughs> uh, yeah, or we could say mistake. Now one thing I want to point out is that my weapon is upgraded, so it has way less spread than uh, the weapon has by default. And if you want to see the exact upgrades that this weapon has, then you could check that out in my last video. The link will be in the description and also in the left uh, bottom side uh, of the screen. Now here you will see me using those uh, bursts that I was talking about. It is really effective and it's really accurate, at least in terms of how accurate my gun is at this point. So next up I want to show you an effective way of bursting when you not scoping in. So that was a really good example and here comes a really bad example. Now of course getting a lot of lags isn't really helping my cost, but still, that was kind of sloppy. That was better. Now many players who try out this game have a lot of experience with Battlefield 3 or Call of Duty and you may feel that controlling the weapon in this game is a lot harder. Especially if you're used to a weapon that doesn't require burst fire at all. Now if that's the case and you feel that this uh, weapon, this uh, default assault rifle is too much of a pain in the ass, you might want to try to go with a submachine gun right away because uh, they are way easier to handle and uh, even though they don't do as much damage per bullet, they uh, have a very high damage output anyway in terms of uh, damage per second. And to be perfectly honest, I think they're quite overpowered, but they're in the game and uh, if you like run and gun kind of gameplay, you want to get close up and close up and personal, then uh, yeah, submachine is the way to go. Oh, and here I was actually able to steal a uh, noob suit. No, that's not what they're called. They're called hard suit. Yeah. And uh, that's the, probably the first time I, I was actually able to do that. And uh, I'm not a very good hard suit type player. Have almost no experience with it. Uh, they feel kind of clumsy, not very responsive, stuff like that. So uh, yeah, you won't see that much uh, hard suit gameplay from me, I suppose. Uh, we'll see in the future. I think I picked up a couple of frags in this uh, stolen piece of hardware.
All right, so after a little bit of a hard suit adventure, we'll go back to some hip fire shooting. Now in the next engagement here, you will see a guy try to take me out with uh, full automatic fire and uh, it's just not gonna work that well. Uh, spray and pray. And speaking of a spray and pray, check this out. Yeah, that was a lot of random hot lead. Alright, so after a bit of mid-range shooting, we'll go back to some close combat fighting again. And here's an example of what not to do. I'm just being greedy here, that's all. Oh yeah, and I wish I could have landed that smackdown at the end there, but uh, it wasn't meant to be. <laughs> oh my god, you guys feel the pain? I do. Oh yeah, take that Miss Fancy Pants. So I still haven't given up the idea that I can make this gun work in the close combat, but uh, we'll see. So in the very last part of this video, I just want to show you a few things that can be really hard to deal with, especially if you're new in this game. And uh, one of these things is uh, cloaked opponents. And you can see him going for A here, and I, I did get some hit detection. Here I get some more hits, I know he's right there, so a smackdown takes him out. The uh, problem is you just have to find him. And of course the most obvious way is using the HRV. You can detect them a little bit when they move around, and you can see that guy was going for the depot. I said we could pick him off, here's another one. And now I lost him, I have no idea where he is, I back off. To make sure that he doesn't melee me. Okay, so he's behind the wall. And uh, here we go. So I'd like to thank you for watching. And I will be coming out with uh, more videos of Blacklight Retribution later on. So please stay tuned people. Bye for now.